Drug prohibition is the biggest failed policy in the history of the United States of America, second only to slavery. We arrested more Americans in the last year than ever before, over 800,000 Americans, 90% of them, for simply possessing a little marijuana. Many police officers, many prosecutors ask themselves the question, what are we accomplishing here? We have an opportunity now to change course. What we're here today to do is to celebrate the fact that 355,000 registered Washington voters signed the petition to put I-502 Lies! -E I think everybody agrees that I-502 will be historic if it passes and will certainly press the issue to the federal government in a way that's really never happened. But the disagreement is really more on the DUI component and the no home grow component. In the city of Seattle, we have it amazing. I mean, look where we are. Everyone's smoking cannabis and there's nothing wrong with it. Why do we want to change that? This is an elaborate hoax. They're talking about millions and billions of dollars in tax money, but they know it's not going to happen. The drug war started in the United States. It spreads around the world like a cancer, and this is where it has to end. It has to be killed here. With legalizing it, you're putting more youth at risk. At risk. I should be able to smoke, especially if I can vote for it. We want to err on the side of public safety. Now we're going to take 10,000 possession arrests and we're going to turn them into 10,000 DUI arrests. The people that are working to pass I-502, they're trying to do something historic. There is a national strategy involved in it. Initiative 502 in King <laughs> County has earned 63.82. I think the message will go across the United States and reach Washington, D.C. It will be a kind of case that the United States Supreme Court, I think, lives for. The voters in Washington State said, yes, we want legalization. What makes me sick is, of course, they didn't get legalization. Other states will see the wisdom in this and will look back and see this is indeed a turning point.